Hey everybody, I'm Steven Adams. This is episode two of the Bird Kill, my weekly vlog where I attempt to show you my previous week of upland bird hunts. I'm doing something that might be silly today. I'm out rough grouse hunting while doing this post hunt interview. It's hard to come up with time between a full-time job, a kid, a wife, hunting to do these kinds of things, so I have to do it now. Uh, while I'm hunting or as I'm walking the trail into a spot to hunt. So you will see this hunt on a future episode, but for now this is episode two. Um, so last week I was able to get out on a really good rough grouse and woodcock hunt. It is the second week of Minnesota's rough grouse season. I got Remnar today. So that was pretty wicked. Um, Remnar was up here messing around, and when I finally got to about where he was, a woodcock flush. And I got the shot up, and uh, I saw the woodcock drop, or at least I thought I did. Remnar came up here and went on point, and I thought he was just pointing this dead bird. I was going to work my way up to him, and as I'm working my way up to him, a woodcock flushes. And it flushed right where I thought the dead one had fallen. So I thought, oh, I missed it for sure, and it just landed after I had shot it. So I let Remnar work around again, thinking maybe there'll be another bird in here. And all of a sudden, he grabbed onto a bird and he brought it up to me and there was the woodcock. That was pretty, that was pretty cool. He did point that bird, well, he did point a different bird that was next to the dead bird. So I mean, he's doing pretty good. It's a pretty good night. Got ourselves a woodcock, and look at there, a rough grouse. Well, the first grouse flushed and went across this open area. <laughs> so when the second bird flushed, I knew exactly where it was gonna go, and I shot it. Afterwards, I realized that Remnar was right there, milling about. He, he probably flushed those birds, he did not point them. Woodcock number two. Remnar is currently pointing the woodcock that I just shot, and I don't see it, so I'm gonna let him go and have him pick it up for me. Oh. Okay. Oh, that got a little crazy. Let me come, let me come. Remy, whoa! All right, that incident there tells me that Remnar has something figured out. He went on point in here, and I stumbled around and around and around, and I went past him and then past him, and I, I don't know how I didn't even see him. And I got right to where I am now, and I heard the woodcock flush, and he took off after it. So he held point for, the, boy, for a couple minutes Good boy, on a bird. Makes me happy. Anyway, there's a couple things I have to mention. I'm super excited because I'm going to be walking through the beautiful prairies of northwestern Minnesota because this happened. Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. It's almost certainly my prairie chicken letter as to whether I got drawn or not. Congratulations! You have been selected. Da -da -da -da. I'm super excited. I don't want to wait until Friday, but I have to. Luckily for you, you don't have to because I can just do this. All right, so I'm here. I'm at the spot where I am going to be prairie chicken hunting. Daisy, enough crying. We will go hunting in a moment. She's very disappointed that we're not out of the car immediately as soon as we get there. Relax. I have to explain something. 
sometimes it's hard enough just to shoot a bird as it is. Um, it's really hard to shoot a bird and get it on one of these cameras. And on this hunt, this over the shoulder camera, uh, something was wrong with the SD card and it was only recording 50 minutes at a time. And then it would overlap those 50 minutes again and again and again. So all that I got from the prairie chicken hunt uh, was the last 50 minutes of the hunt, which was not so bad because the last 50 minutes were the best part of the hunt. Luckily, I did have the gun cam on, so I did get some footage of some of the hunt, but I did miss out on some of the, the cool over the shoulder shots that I really like. Anyway, we started that prairie chicken hunt on a WPA, walking a big ridge right through the middle of it. And all we saw the first time out there was uh, a few pheasants. Sorry if that's a terrible camera view. We just, uh, shut up. We just got off the spot that we were hunting, which is right in front of me here. We went around the section, and there's a cut wheat field here, and there's a bunch of chickens sitting out in it right now, which is kind of what I was expecting to happen. And if all the birds that are in there are out eating in that wheat stubble, and I walk this edge hoping for a straggler, I might screw myself because if they see me, they're not going to come this way. They're going to go that way. So maybe my best bet is just to sit here and be patient. Let them go back in. All right, so those birds just left, a whole bunch of them. Got up out of these beans right here and flew all the way across the back somewhere on that ridge that I was just hunting. So after we saw those birds head back into there, we went and parked in the exact same spot and walked that ridge again, just like we had done earlier in the morning. And we did find those birds, but as anybody who's hunted prairie chickens and sharp-tailed grouse knows, uh, if they're sitting on top of the ridge, they're usually watching you. And they flush at somewhere between 45 and 50 yards. After that, those birds flew way out of sight with no chance of being able to chase them. So we went off to a wildlife management area where we walked and walked and walked and walked. Look it. It says they're in there. Look it. Yeah. After you walk a few miles without flushing anything, you let your guard down. You just kind of turn into a marching zombie. And you got your gun slung over your arm. And of course, we flushed a chicken. I can replay the moments for you in my head. The first moment was, oh, what's that? The second moment was, oh, it's a chicken, oh my gosh. And the third moment was, don't screw this up. Yeah. Well, I totally blew it. I was a little frustrated. I was really close to just saying, I'm packing it up and I'm gonna go home. But I decided that we were gonna go back to that first spot and walk some of the willows that were next to that small grain field and hope for a bird to be roosting in there. All right, this is it. Last spot of the day. And then I'm out of here. We're tired, sore. I don't know. I'm just mad. I'm just rambling. I'm tired. Yeah. So I was really happy to have shot one of the two prairie chickens that I was allowed to shoot. Daisy just flushed the grouse and I dropped the camera, but um, I never had a shot, even if, even if I would have been ready and didn't have the camera. But I'm gonna finish this interview right now so I don't do that again. So then my boss and I went out on a hunt the next day and we flushed one grouse. We each got a shot off on it and we missed it, both of us.
Mm -hmm. And I think that's about all we saw there. And that was how I ended my week. And that is how I'm going to end this episode because we've already hit a bird and I don't want to miss another opportunity. So thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for episode three and the future episode where hopefully I shoot one of these grouse tonight. See you later.